Okay, I've got a new safety device that you can make at home that I want to share with you. I'm calling it the smoke detector disconnector. So think of it as a smart extension cord so that whatever you plug into it, and it's going to reduce the chances of that thing causing a fire or, or hurting you. Uh, so here's, here's how it works. So I'm going to plug in uh, a night light, and then I'll plug the device in. Okay, night light. But if it if it were to detect smoke, it'll shut it off and it'll stay this way until you manually unplug it. Now, had that been a soldering iron or a heat gun or something, that could have just prevented a fire right there. It had detected it early enough. Also, you can get a fire extinguisher to mount to it. Uh, so, because if it's an emergency and you want need to know where it is right now, uh, it's nice when it's touching the thing that's making the noise, and it's at the location where you need it. Time to do a little soldering. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oops, I forgot the turkey in the oven. And I woke my wife up too. Give you a quick demo of the ground fault circuit interrupter. It's GFCI. That's standard bathroom equipment. Right here, you can press reset or you can test it, and that's the snapping sound where it shuts off the power. Um, so I've got a nightlight plugged into it. And if I was, you know, say that nightlight is an experiment I'm playing with, and I and I accidentally cross a couple wires, specifically if I connect the ground to the hot wire. This is a resistor I'm pushing in here. There. It shuts the power off. Safe. No problems. That's all there is to it. That's the smoke detector disconnector. It's, it's real simple. It uses some relay logic inside to do what it does. It's reliable. Um, yeah, it, it can definitely help you prevent electrical fires. Uh, but that said, there's nothing it can do for you if you drop a blowtorch on your carpet or something weird like that, other than maybe maybe alert you if it's in the area. But um, hey, anyway, uh, I've shared the design for free, so if you want to build one of these things, check out the links below.